Let's look at uh, an example of the use of science in management. Let's assume that as managing director, you've just come out of a meeting, management meeting. You've been putting your salespeople, your sales director, under pressure on sales for, for increased sales and for performance. The sales director responded that what they would like to see is greater incentives for the salespeople, greater financial, in financial incentives, greater commission for the salespeople, and that the assertion that they're making is, if you put more money on the table, then greater sales will result. Now, that's not an uncommon belief. That's not an uncommon uh, idea that uh, salespeople have that it's right and proper, and very often it's endemic in industry. So, for example, in the car sales industry, then in the motor trade industry, that is the norm. And, of course, you would be going against the norm. There's not necessarily anything that says it works, and we'll look at that. So you need to go and look at the evidence, and rather than having an argument or a discussion with the sales director or simply saying, yes, 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 we'll do that, come up with a scheme, please, you want to look at the evidence. Now, there is something like 500 academic papers, perhaps more, on this whole business of money in uh, put on the table for performance, pay for performance. Uh, the idea of bonuses, the idea of, uh, uh, of, of commissions. And, of course, you also have access to experience, uh, colleagues' experience, perhaps experience of other companies that you can contact, provided, of course, that you distill that experience. And it's not just something that other people do that does not necessarily in itself work, uh, provided it's boiled down to understand objectively uh, to answer the question, does it work? So there is a huge amount of ed evidence. And if we look at that evidence, first, there is no evidence to suggest that if you put more money on the table, and this is the evidence from science, there is no evidence to suggest that if you put more money on the table, performance will result. There is also the evidence that shows that very few pay-for-performance commission schemes that have been studied are seen to work. It's always a short-term thing, and it's always where staff are in high level of churn. The, the staff turnover is very high. And it's always generating in return antisocial behaviour, where people are become insular and driving for their own performance, not for the organisation performance. So you then say, OK, we'll draw away from that and say, let's look generally at incentives. There is some evidence to suggest that per group uh, incentives work, but not ideally. There is some evidence to suggest that uh, paying across the company works, but you have to be careful here. If the company can't afford it, then it can't go ahead and do it. But there is certainly general support in, in academic research that the idea that profit sharing works, that if the company makes its profit, if the company performs as a whole and achieves its results, um, then everyone gets a share of that. And so therefore you can now go back and say, look, I found this evidence. Uh, go back to the sales director. I found this evidence. Now let's build something around a whole company incentive scheme, provided, of course, that we are achieving the targeted profits. And that's a very practical idea of how you come from a, 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 an idea that you want to put more money on the table right through to how that money would be how it would be done and the policy and processes behind it.